Just before the parade arrives there, I'd like to welcome uh, our distinguished guest there, uh, Mr. Barry Cowan, TD, uh, Mr. Paddy Heaney, should have been a TD, but <laughs> maybe he'll go up next election. <laughs> Marcella Colin Kennedy, TD, uh, the, the one who followed Michael Watch, has been a, a great privilege to have him here in Carwick, and he's a fantastic per person. Also, the John Lee, Councillor John Lee. So, nice round of applause for our distinguished guest, to Liz Yeoman. And Paddy Murphy was up there, but someone told him to get down to. <laughs> and our, our, our uh, judges today are uh, Mr. Joe Daly, Therese Cosgrove, and Siobhan Egan. So nice round of applause for our judges there. I'm sure they'll have a very difficult task. But they've been in the tournament there discussing tactics for the last while, so they're up to the play as selected. And once again, on behalf of the, of the Commerce team, we'd like to thank all the wonderful stewards and the people all, all morning putting up the crowd barriers and doing all the work behind the scenes. And again, the wonderful committee that they, they've kept the parade alive. It's still to those people that do the hard work behind the scenes. So we're uh, we led again this year by the wonderful... Now you get your hands together, give a great round of applause there for the Civil Defence and the Mount Paul's Pipe Band. Come on, let's hear it for the guys. And the Civil Defence have been very active and very helpful to all groups in the area and they're always available to help and we appreciate them very, very much. And we have the wonderful Mount Paul's Pipe Band, age old group, and we have them from the 80s to the 20s all age groups, so it's a fantastic occasion. So again, a big round of applause there for the Mopo's Pipe Band. And thanks very much, Dad, for coming along. Made our break. George Campbell. George Campbell is the leader. Okay, our first float is the Carmack. Parent and Tatter Group. Get your hands together for them there. Fancy dress. We raw meet every Thursday morning during from 11 to 12.30 at the Joseph Community Centre. The group caters for babies and preschool children. Activities include arts, crafts, music, dance, bontas, storytelling, and yoga. So that's the wonderful uh, Parent and Tatter Group for the We we'll meet every Thursday in St. Joseph Community Centre. Uh, floor number two is Fancy Dress for Children, and that's Adam and Keen Craven. And the team is John Burton puts us on Gatebridge. Now we have to walk on Mars for only 20 euro extra a week. So there's a bit of sarcasm in that there. I'm not 100% sure what that means. But it's Fancy Dress for Children. Nice round of applause there for Adam and Keen Craven. Well done, folks. I assume that's a mum with them there. So what number three is fight for the FC. Under nines and under tens, fight for the soccer club. Here we have some of the under nines and under ten soccer players. Fight for football club has been in existence since 18, 1981, sorry. We cater for all ages. At present we have just under nines, under tens and under sixteens. We are presently three quarters way to the completing our new football ground in Lower Bradley Cullen. We have two of the best football pitches in the combined counties and Midland Boys and Girls Football League. Our dressing rooms will be completed shortly. With this in mind, we are asking for all our mentors to help out for the next season's fixtures, which start in August. We expect to have under nines, under tens, twelves, fourteens, under sixteens, youth teams in boys and girls, which is great. It's great to see the girls teams there as well. At the moment, we have kids from all ages travelling to other clubs because we don't have people to train or coach here in Cork. If you know of anybody who is interested in coaching, please give your name to a club member or fight for football club. Also, they have a bingo on Tuesday evenings at 8.30 in the KDA Centre. The Cormac Junior Football Club will really appreciate your support and happy to raise the 15,000 euros towards the completion of the football ground. Proceeds from the bingo are used for these funds and uh, 
Many thanks for all your support. So that's for the, the nice round of applause there for the Frankfurt under 9 and under 10 soccer teams. Well done, lads. Thank you. Okay, if, if floor number three things, yeah. The schools, school number the Cormach. Number of children in this floor is 34. Our school has found the last two snakes that St. Patrick banished. That was a fair achievement, so they, the kids are all done up as a snake there, so get your hands together please for that school in Cormach. They found the last two snakes that St. Patrick banished. And, uh, it's a well, very well put together. Well done, lads. That's fantastic. A lot of little kids out in the cold there. I think they're all very happy, aren't they? Well, give them a wee cheer there, over there. Well done, lads. Fair pitious. And they're very well organised as well. <laughs> Thanks very much for that. Uh, next one is in the kids. It's uh, Bobby Cushion. And it's a Smurfs Mobile. That's a right joke, isn't it? Make way for the Smurfs. Smurfette and her newfound sister, Vexy, have designed their own Smurfmobile. Smurf sisters are doing it for themselves. Their message on the team of the parade is country living. It is even blue days are great days when you live in the country. Smurfette, a.k.a. Keela Buckley, and Vexy, a.k.a. Joanne Cushion. Happy Smurfs Patrick Day. <laughs> So they're going to Swarfs now. I hope you don't get a flat wheel now, which is they'll hold up the whole parade. <laughs> anyway, the Swarf Vets are gone. Next one, it's Elaine Egan, the Carmack Irish Dancers. I think he's on the queue there now. Um, it's the Carmack School of Irish Dancing, uh, Elaine Egan, mobile 087 9348021. So anybody who's interested can join in. Uh, we can, we'll have the number here as well. And uh, believe it or not, they're going to give an exhibition of Irish dancing. So give them a nice round of applause there for the Elaine's Egan School of Dancing. Are you ready, guys? Cool, eh? Yogi Bear over here, the mascot as well. Well done. Give away after Yogi there. Woohoo! He's in the skies.
Check out the smooth, Bernie. Okay, the, the lady in school, Daddy, thanks very much for that, Liam Fairbairn. Nice round of applause for that. And also for Yogi Bear down there, well done, thank you. I don't know if he'd like me calling him Yogi, but if I get, what type of bear is that, I wonder? Care Bear, hold on, folks.